this lecture, I am going to discuss the green synthesis of the metal nanoparticles and by using the plant extracts. And what is the role of the electrochemistry during the synthesis of the metals nanoparticles? So one of the examples is given over here. This is the reduction of the iron plus two to iron zero oxidation state. And basically, we use the plant extracts. And in the plant extract, there are several polyphenolic compounds are present. Two of them are given over here as an example. And the way of this synthesis, first you can take the uh, plant, the powder you can extract by using the uh, uh, different solvent. And you, then you can use this extract to put into the uh, uh, metal source. In this case, this is the iron plus two, which is converted into the iron zero oxidation state. And then after you can centrifuge and try to get the final iron nanoparticles. So here I am going to discuss what is the role of the electrochemistry. Actually, this is the reduction, reduction of the iron plus two to uh, iron zero oxidation state. That means these uh, polyphenolic compounds are acting as the reducing agents and they, they themselves are going to oxidize. If they are going to oxidize, they will convert or they will reduce the metal ions to the metals nanoparticle. So here, one of the example is given. I have mentioned over here, the three half cells of the iron, iron plus two is converted in iron zero oxidation state having the potential of minus 0.447 volt. And the second one is the iron plus three, getting three electron is converted into iron zero oxidation state having the potential of minus 0.037 volt. And this, this is the same uh, half cell that is oxidation state of iron of is plus three, getting one electron converted into iron plus two oxidation state, but this is having the potential of 0.771 volt. This is the half cell of the polyphenolic compounds, which are present in the plant extracts, is given over here. And AR is the phenyl, phenyl group. And the oxidation state is ranging from the uh, 0.3 to 0.8 volt, because there are a lot of variety of the phenolic compounds having different reduction potential values. So its range is given over here. But here, I, as an, a reference, I am going to use only one of them. That means if uh, the ox, uh, redox potential is 0.3 volt, then what would be the possibility of these metal ions to react with the, this uh, polyphenolic compound? So there is, a, there is the one way of the reaction maybe if this iron plus two or iron plus three, iron plus three, they only react with this one compound and they may are going to reduce by oxidizing this to the, this compound. So let's search out what is the first possibility. May this iron plus two may react with the uh, phenolic compound. And the answer is this is not having the ability this compound is not having the ability to reduce the iron plus two to iron zero valent state because this potential is less as compared to the this potential and this potential must be considered as the cathode. This is at the anode. And when we get the cell potential, the cell is equal to E cathode minus the anode, then your answer will be the minus. That means this phenolic, polyphenolic compounds uh, do not having the ability to reduce the iron plus two to iron zero valent oxidation state. Now look at the, the second half cell. Again, its potential is less as compared to the this one state. The reason is the same. This also has not ability to reduce the iron plus two uh, three to uh, zero valent oxidation state. Now look at the half cell three. Of course, now its potential is more as compared to the uh, this one half cell potential. So iron plus three may react with the 
RN plus C will react with the uh, polyphenolic compounds and uh, they are going to reduce to RN plus 2 and this is going to oxidize to the, this one form. But the question over here, this is not the metal nanoparticle, not is metal uh, having the zero oxidation state. If it is converted into this one, it is uh, iron plus two, then iron plus two doesn't have the ability to oxidize to the, these polyphenol compound and do not, uh, uh, and is not converted into the zero valent oxidation state. So that means the answer is polyphenols, simply reduction of the metal ions, particularly the iron plus two plus three to iron zero is not possible. So what is the, uh, the solution of this problem? Because we use the plant extract to synthesize the nanoparticles. To answer this one, even you, if you can increase the potential of these half cell, or the other option is if you decrease the potential of the polyphenolic compounds to lower than the values of the metal uh, ion, metal ions. So, of course, then they will reduce by oxidizing the polyphenol, polyphenolic compounds. So, this is being done in the presence of the NOH. We use the NOH to change the pH of the phenolic compounds. So, polyphenolic compounds and ions in the presence of the NOH are having the potential minus 0.88 to minus 1.81 volt. As an example, if you consider only minus 0.88, now you can compare with the, again, the spontaneity of the reaction, the Rn plus two with the, uh, this one compound. Now this will react with this one because this is having more potential as compared to the minus 0.88. So when you get the cell potential, E cell will be having a positive sign, this will be at the cathode and this will be at the anode. And if you have a look on this half set, of course, this will also going to react with the uh, uh, polyphenol anions and uh, the potential of this half set is more as compared to the, this one and the net cell potential is in positive. And this is again, uh, of course, this is also going to react with the uh, polyphenol anions to reduce to the Rn plus two. And if it is converted into Rn plus two, further it will react with the polyphenol ions and further it will be converted into the iron zero oxidation state. So that means as a chemist, you can change the pH. By changing the pH, you can change the potential of the half cell. And by changing the potential of the half cell, you can make the reaction spontaneous. So this is the role of the electrochemistry or the changing the pH to make a reaction spontaneous. And you can synthesize the iron nanoparticles by using the plant extract. And this is the mechanism behind this one. So as an example, uh, you can uh, use uh, all these example to decide whether uh, there is the possibility for the zinc to reduce to the zinc metal or the tin metal or the chromium metal. So this is not always necessary that all metal ions are converted into the metal nanoparticles. There is the selection and this selection is based on the, uh, uh, based on these half cell of the polyphenols present in the plant aspect. So this is the exercise you have to do your, yourself. Another important part is the biological oxidation or again the green species of the metal nanoparticle. You can use the natural product and one of the example is the vitamin C and this is the ascorbic acid and its potential is uh, minus 0.223 and it, if it is oxidized to dehydro ascorbic acid and they, it, then it may have the ability to reduce the iron plus 2 to iron zero valent oxidation state. So if you look at these value, this is the uh, having the minus, this must be at the cathode and this must be at a node. So this is having less as compared to the this value. So the reaction of the iron plus two at standard conditions 
is not possible. And if you consider at this one half cell, now its potential is more as compared to the this one. So this may happen. It will be converted into the iron zero oxidation state if it is present in the iron plus B because cell potential now is positive. E cathode, this minus minus 0.223 will give you the answer of plus. So the reaction is possible. That means iron plus three may react with this carbonic acid to convert into the this form, and this will reduce to the iron uh, zero oxidation state. And of course, this is much more potential as compared to this. So simultaneously, uh, iron plus three is converted into iron plus two, and then it is if it is iron plus two, this is not going to be converted into the iron zero oxidation state but at this kind of condition and of course this is also going to happen and but the half cell reaction of second one is much slow as compared to the third one because cell potential is, is low as compared to the cell potential of the third half cell but if you want to uh, change the ph of this half cell you can calculate the potential by using the nurse equation and you can put the appropriate value of the hydrogen ion, and you can also change the potential of this uh, half cell by changing the pH of the solution. And then you can further decide whether the spontaneity of these metal ions in the presence of the vitamin C or the ascorbic acid at different pH values. So this is the explanation which I have already explained to you. And, uh, this is the, the last one and see you in the next class.